Hello, and today we're going to go through the process of installing the Sentry 1 on-prem config tool. And we're also going to add and configure a target. This will all be standard Sentry 1 client user installation steps. A note, we want to ensure that whoever is performing the installation has administrative access as well. Now we're going to go ahead and open the S1 Monitor Config Tool. So this account login relies on the user already having gone and purchased a license or requested a trial license through our online portals. If they have not done that, they won't be able to continue past this screen. Should there be any issues with the configuration, you'll see red text below this button. But in this video, don't worry, everything went through and we'll be able to open the config tool. The first thing that's going to pop up is not the config tool, but actually the add target window. In this video, we'll be adding a local target, and now we'll add the SQL Express instance of this target. The connection button allows us to check to make sure we can actually connect to the database. And then the next button adds that target to this config tool for monitoring. And this window, it's just showing all the steps for the add target process, and it'll notify us when it's done. It's got zero running, zero errors, and zero cancel. Go ahead and hit OK. And this is the Sentry 1 config tool. As an example, let's add another instance. I'm adding just a local SQL Server instance, not the SQL Server Express instance. We connect to that, click OK, and we can see it here in the navigator, the SQL Server instance that is starting to get watched right now. And this is the SQL Server Express instance. Next, as a final step, open the Cloud Sync page to verify that we do in fact have Cloud Sync turned on. We include logins and host names turned on by default. The user can turn that off if they want, but it is additional data that can be used for cloud monitor. So when the red banner disappears, that means our database is starting to be created in Azure. And as soon as that's done, the red banner disappears and the cloud sync will start up. We're going to open a web browser here so that we can see the universal client when it opens up and head over to monitor.sentry1.com. As you can see, we've logged in and currently don't see any targets. The reason for that is that the first sync is not completed yet. Once that sync is complete, you'll be able to start seeing data that is syncing after that initial synchronization. We can open up the Cloud tab and see that we do have each instance checked for the AV encoding box. And we can drill in and see what features are enabled and verify everything's checked. By default, everything will be. The final step in the synchronization process for each individual sync is the processing step. So we know when that starts up, we are ending the full sync process. And every minute, by default, the sync process will start up again to sync the new data from the local machine to the user's cloud monitor account. Just a note that each sync is reduced in time after your initial synchronization. So the first sync is completed. We can also trigger a manual sync by clicking the sync now button. We see that it starts up. It's not required, and to reiterate, each sync will be one minute apart, so you should have new data at the ready whenever you need it. Now if we refresh the page, we can see that in fact the target is there, in the Web Universal Client page. That is the full process of installation and watching a target, as well as verifying the Cloud Sync is in fact working. This is the health of the current target. You can see that there is a type of target, and that's a Microsoft Windows Server 2016. And you can see each instance underneath. We expand this out a little bit, and you can see the current events that have synced up. You can drill into those events, and if they're still running, it's shown here as well. We can drill in further to see the health of an instance, but on a more specific level. And as you can see this time, the event here completed, but there is an active event. And it is the same event as before, as you can see, there is a count of two on this temp DB low unallocated page count event. Looking here at the title bar, we can see that we can actually change the instance from this and get to them a little quicker. This will be the health of each instance. Additionally, we can go to the performance dashboard for those instances. As you can see, the dashboard is now fully loaded. And based on my VM's date time, this is when it started. We can view the date range selector 
All right, thank you so much for watching. That's been the installation and synchronization verification of the Sentry One Cloud Monitor on-prem config tool. For more information, head over to sentryone.com and as always, get in contact with our excellent customer support team. That's been the installation and synchronization verification of the Sentry One Cloud Monitor on-prem config tool. For more information, head over to sentryone.com and as always, get in contact with our excellent customer support team.